The Unity Asset Store Spring Sale just went live, and if you're not checking this out, you're really missing out and making your life a lot harder than it needs to be. I always put the most popular assets on sale because those are the ones that have the biggest impact for developers, like V Hierarchy 2. This editor tool really brings the scene view to the next level, allowing you to customize the way everything looks. You can color code the scene view, add icons, get a component mini map, quickly jump around between levels, use bookmarks, and even change the default parent when you drag an object into the scene view. Another great spot to customize is the console. Console Pro for Unity allows you to do the same kind of color coding, add a bunch of filtering, and even see a preview of the code when you're looking at your log. Next on my list is Odin Inspector, and if you don't have this already, you're probably ideologically opposed to using any tools or something because it is amazing. It makes building games drastically easier, especially if you have any kind of content in your game. I've done full videos about this tool though because it's so useful, so I won't keep going on. Check it out if you haven't already. If you're coming from a web background or you just don't like waiting around, you've got to try out Hot Reload. It allows you to just edit your code and keep playing without having to reload anything. No data changes everything just keeps working and it feels like magic. If you thought V Hierarchy was cool though, you've got to check out V Inspector. It's even cooler, I think. It allows you to grab components, drag them out, copy and paste multiple things at a time, save stuff at runtime, and even have a list of stuff to cycle through in the Inspector. It's extremely powerful and really all of these V tools go together really well. Some of them aren't in the sale right now, but I honestly would just grab the whole bunch of them or wait, wait for them to go on sale and get them when you can because they're just amazing. Now the next tool is not for the inspector, it's for you and your team. It's Quantum Console. It allows you to pop a console directly into your game, hit escape, bring it up, and run anything that you want with a simple attribute. You just add the command attribute over the method that you want, and maybe the preserve one so it doesn't get compiled out, and then you have access to that command. It auto-completes everything. You can put in searches, very simple, so you can auto-complete your grabbing of items or whatever else. Super powerful, very lightweight, definitely got to check it out and put it in there. If you don't have a console in your game, what are you doing? Just pop a console in there. It takes like five minutes to get this up and running. When it comes to UI tools, they've got a lot on sale. There's a huge list here. I really like the Layer Labs ones. I just think they look cool. But if you don't need UI elements, you probably do need Text Animator for Unity. It allows you to do some really cool animation on your text with zero code. It's extremely easy to set up, and you can see it just looks cool. Something else that I think really looks cool and I use personally is the World Map Globe Edition or the World Maps Pro Bundle is the one that I actually have. It allows you to set up a whole map with clickable areas, do grids, real world areas, customize it completely, and make a really fun game. I've got something kind of in the works that I don't want to talk about yet with it, but I really love that system. It is amazing and it looks beautiful. On the gameplay side, there were three things that really stood out. First, Dootween Pro. If you haven't used Dootween Pro before, if you're using Dootween, just grab the Pro version. If you've never used the tweening tool, go check it out or use whatever your favorite one is. But I really like Dootween Pro, so I highly recommend that people try it out. The other one is Behavior Designer Pro, though. This is new. It's powered by dots and allows you to do behavior trees that scale up to thousands of agents. I know the guy that made it. It's an amazing tool, and it, he's really helpful and really supportive. So if you've got questions, Questions about it or you want to learn more about it or build something really awesome, I'd reach out to them. But definitely try out their tools. They've got a big set of extra stuff that adds on to it to give you extra functionality without having to do it all yourself. And the last one is Rayfire for Unity. It's been a little while since I used this, but I had a blast using this in a monster game where you could basically play 3D Rampage. It allows you to basically take an object, fracture it into a bunch of pieces and then control how that object falls apart or destroys or explodes at runtime or whatever thing you want to do with it. For me, it was ripping apart buildings and throwing the pieces around. Now, when it comes to visual effects and just making your game look better, there are two particle packs that I think everybody I know already has, but if you don't have the Cartoon Effects Remaster Bundle or the Epic Tune Effects Bundle, they're both on sale right now, and it's a great deal. They're full of awesome stuff for just about any type of game that fits into that style, which is mostly what I like to build. Now, if you want to build something more realistic, Beautify 3 really kind of pushes the bar for making beautiful visuals without you having to know or do a whole lot. It has some buttons in there. You go click it and it just literally beautifies the scene. Now that one's made by Cronect, who makes great visual tools like the volumetric fog and mist that's super popular or Highlight Plus that I actually just implemented in a game last week. 
really cool tools that really don't require you to know or do a whole lot other than plug them in and turn them on. Now, if you're building a world, both Microverse and Gaia are on sale. I'm actually going to interview Adam from Procedural Worlds about Gaia and Storm, their upcoming system. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you check that out as well. Just subscribe and you'll see the alert for it. Strangely enough, Connect also has a cool terrain tool. Terrain Grid System is an awesome tool if you want to build any sort of just game with tiles or territories, it's thinking an RTS, a strategy game, or anything like that. You can use real world terrains or fake ones or generate them completely randomly. And if you're looking for actual environments, Powell from the Game Dev Show has got a couple great things on sale. The Meadow Pack, the Mountain Pack, and upcoming the Lava Pack will be on a flash deal. Now, speaking of Game Dev Show members, Andrew's also got two of his low poly character packs with 19 and 20 characters each. Huge collection of really cool characters full of animations and customization and his game toolkit available. So if you want to build a game, don't want to write a lot of code, it's something that you can use to build systems and use systems without having to well, really build them all yourself. He built a bunch of systems that were cool for his game and then made them available for everybody else. And if low poly is not your style, you should definitely check out Protofactor. His stuff is just amazing. This time he's got his fantasy creatures on sale and they're just really awesome. They're huge, giant creatures with cool animations that do all kinds of cool stuff and some smaller creatures too, but largely big, giant boss creatures and stuff and some sci-fi droids, lots of other cool stuff that's on sale. I think the droids are actually just a new release. It's constantly releasing new stuff. So if you get something of his, there's always new things that go along with it. It's one of the reasons I love it. So much stuff that just goes together. The last two things I wanted to call out are also characters. One I've used a bunch, it's this Monsters Ultimate Cute Pack. It's basically cute little Pokemon-like characters with a bunch of cool evolutions. And the other one is this Skeleton Pack. It just makes me want to build an MMO where I'm playing a Necromancer. So I want to grab it, try it out, and just see what I can do with it. That's one of the reasons I love these sales so much. I just get to try out all kinds of new stuff at huge discounts. So go check them out. And if you see anything that you think I should try out too, drop a comment down below and let me know. And if you check any of these out and find that you really love them, also let me know in the comments. It's always nice to hear when people love or even if they hate something that I recommend, let me know that too. If something you're like, oh, that's terrible. I hate it because of something. You say that in the comments too. But if you love it, definitely give it the thumbs up there. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye. Oh, don't forget to watch the video with Adam on Storm and Gaia and how that all works together in new terrain. If you're interested in cool new systems for Unity, that is definitely one of them you're going to want to learn about.